You ready? Yes, I love this. You're not a product. I have a, I have knowing on. What do you have well, on? There's Nancy. Well, no, I have on. <laughs> She's supposed to be coming. I should be here. Something like me. All right. No. Welcome to the Hampton Beach Village District Monthly Meeting. It's Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. Can we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you watched last month's meeting, the uh, reason the meeting's a little early is there is a special event for Senator Stiles, who was I was hoping was going to be here before our meeting, so we'll see if she still comes. So um, we're going to start uh, right away. Uh, we're going to take a moment of silence for Bobby James O'Neill, uh, grew up on the beach, a longtime resident of Hampton Beach, passed away suddenly, so I'd like to take a moment of silence. Thank you. It seems every month we're announcing another passing, so let's try to get through next month without anything. <laughs> All right, so do we want to start with old business? Um, Maureen? No, I don't think so. I think I'm all set on that. I have some dual budget. All right. I am too. Okay, I last month we had a bunch of residents from... Brown Ave and Bittersweet and all the roads down this way. Joanne Lane. What is it? Joanne Lane. Joanne Lane. I think it's That's Diane as well. Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they have some concerns about a putting a sidewalk in. And I went and spoke at it at the um, the meet the selectmen's meeting, and I guess they're looking into it. Uh, and I didn't know. I'm just concerned that they're going to put so many things into a, um, a Warren article that it might get lost. And I don't. I wanted to see what the other two commissioners thought if we should um, do our own Warren article, sponsored by us, and in, in, um, in to push forward a, a sidewalk along Brown Avenue. I, wa I walked it a few times, looking at different areas, and then t talking to Selectman Griffin. He gave me some information on it. And Fred Welch had some information, and, I, and unfortunately, I don't have the exact figure. And I think it was three hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars. I'm not sure if that's the figure. I'm pretty sure that was the number. Uh, so I would get more information, but I don't know if that's something we should get involved in, or if we should continue to ask the town to involve. Well, I, the town is going to put everything in one big major. Or an article, and it might get pulled out when they have their meeting and they start picking things around. It might get pulled out, and these people are really concerned. There's no place to walk. That's just a dangerous corner. The one thing that we thought of was some type of pathway or something like that. And I, I, hello, <laughs> we're talking about um, a Warren article, Regina. So it, this might be something for. Um, Sidewalk yes, on, on, Brown on, on Brown Ave, and we were discussing whether we should do a separate Warren article, or is the town going to be able to keep it in their in their Warren article? Yeah, uh, we actually had some discussion on that, and I had actually talked to some of the residents. I forget the gentleman's name on Susan Lane, and I believe he might have gone to Florida right. because I've tried to call him a couple times, and I think Rick said that there was someone getting. A well, I got. The list here, we had a bunch of people, and they're not residents, but they're property owners, so obviously right. they're paying taxes. And I made a comment about that when we talked about that they, you know, that we would go to bat for them. And then they um, they sent another um, um, petition with property owners from those streets. So they were like, "We can make it work either way." And I said, "That's fine. Uh, let me, you know, I talked to." <coughs> to Rick because we had brought the stuff, they had brought the things up to Fred. Mm -hmm. And my only concern is is, is the, um, the amount of 
of, of projects that are going to be put into the Warren article. Are they are they going to stick with everything in that Warren article, or will things get pulled out? So if the town's project. So I don't, I don't know if it comes better if the three commissioners go forward and sponsor a Warren article. I think that's what we would like to see is that the precinct sponsors a lot of our And will we have the backing of the selectmen um, to... Yeah, I had actually initially when I talked to the gentleman on Susan Lane, I sent an email out to Jennifer, just mm -hmm. a quick estimate, you know, what it's entailed because you have the Gabriel there, then you have the Marsh, and I guess it's all, not all town property. So it's going to be quite... The expense was over three hundred thousand dollars. I had a figure of three thirty seven. I don't yeah, know, is that the, that's that they, the yeah. figure that they had? Right. Yeah. And and they would be happy with a pathway, but being marsh area and everything like that, I, yeah, the town won't do it because yeah, it's legality if there's someone trips or something if they put a pathway. Yeah, in. so it would all have to be ADA compliant. All right. So. This sidewalk would go on if I'm coming down Brown F to the beach, it would be on the right hand side. Where would this sidewalk be placed? In the marsh. Yeah, the marsh side. Yeah, the, the marsh that's side. the right inside. The marsh side. And there seems to be more land the on the other side. The is on the side of Brown Avenue when you're coming along Susan Lane and Julian Lane. And this There's no. Here. There wouldn't be a sidewalk because their land goes right out to the street. You're going to so start gonna, at the curve. So it's just going to be at the curve. Right? Yeah, oh, oh, at the oh, curve. Oh, so oh, that so Brown Ave, which is the dangerous road. Yes. There isn't a lot of traffic on the side streets. And the one thing that I said to one of the ladies, I said, you understand people are going to lose some land space. And she said, well, not everybody's going to be happy, but most everybody will be happy. So I said, all right, well. Because there is no, as far as what the town knows, it's, it's the road. It's the road. The other side seems to have more space. So I don't know if we're opening a can of worms. You know, some people might be upset losing. Yeah, why can't we do the other side? I don't know. No room. There's no room we're in. It's not really room on the marsh side either because Jennifer's saying they'd actually have to move the guardrail five no. feet out, I believe. Could something be done with just that corner? Had something? Yeah. Where it wouldn't cost? Well, you, you know what you could do? The problem all arose from them putting, from Mike putting a fence out to the guardrail because they used to walk through the parking lot. How about if we just remove a section of the fence? Mike thought that it was a problem because people were scratching cars or something. Well, what if we just, instead of just mark a sidewalk, even put a fence. Again, you're opening up to litigation. If okay, someone well, gets, you know, before so we're we're on our land. Now, right? Yeah, but now we're all of a sudden, we're creating. Okay, okay, I understand, because if they're on our land, then we're, we're, somebody falls down. And well, we changed it, now we're moving it back to, to make it uh, more accommodating, but now we've already, we're setting some type of precedent that we are giving Are you, them a walkway. Yeah. Are you, as commissioners, you're going to sponsor a warrant article on the town's warrant? On the town's warrant? Yeah, with, okay. And we'll get 25 registered voters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sure. so we'll, we'll be three of the 25. That sounds like a good counting you. Because I was thinking, Chuck. If, if he's still here. With our, um, no, I'll be here. <laughs> with our, with our, um, the rules of the village district. Yeah, no, we can't. I don't do think it. that you could do it. We don't. It's not part of our. You could do it if you passed the legis through the legislative body. We also don't own for, it. Well, that's I know the, that's the thing. So we're not going to do a thing with it. Okay, okay. The only so thing that I'd like to say is, it, we better be clear on what we want before we put it on a warrant article. What do we want to do? That's the question. Well, this you know? is the, this the right now. They have plans for a three hundred thirty-seven thousand dollar down Brown Ave around the corner to the on the right hand end. side towards the beach on the marsh side so yeah on the, so on you're, west, you you got to move a guardrail is a part of the yeah. yeah and would it go all the way to the end to or right to Ashworth Ave I don't really know the full right around, full right I don't know I wanted to get the feel of, of what we thought and then I would look yeah, more I into the it best thing to do with, I can send you I have the email from Jennifer yeah that, I mean, she did this, you know, she was in about five or ten different projects when I emailed her about this, but um, she, yeah, she quickly estimated it somewhere over $330,000, I yeah. think was the amount. But the town, you know, everything that, if they're going to put a sidewalk in it, it's got to be the full-blown ADA compliant. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think there's going to be any, you know, pathways or it's just yeah. too much of a liability. So do you want me to continue I have no problem it? as long as it can be done uh, correctly and it, and yeah. because it is very dangerous uh, the one thing that should be clarified is 
If this Warren article passed, it would be the town's money that paid for the sidewalk, not the precinct. So you want no confusion on that. In front of that motel that got rebuilt after the fire. Anyway, down near Brown Avenue? Yeah, that's the west side. You mean down near 101? Yes, that's the west side. So that must be what they want to do. So that's the west side. Yes. All right, so I want to make a motion that we will look into creating a warrant article put forth from the village district commissioners to ask the town to appropriate the funds, or as soon as we find out the funds, um, to put a sidewalk in on Brown Ave. Um, so that's, that would be my motion, and then we could clarify more of it in November, so we still have time. Okay. What is the date? It's like the second week in December for? Or an article for the petition ones? I think it's in January. Yeah, All right. January. So we still so we still have time. So that so that so that's my motion to look more into it. And if there's any residents out there that live on those streets that have some comments about it or that are totally against it or totally for it, November's meeting would be the time to come and, and, and talk to us about it, and then we'll move forward in November. I'd second that. Sorry, Joe. It's <laughs> a long one. <laughs> All in favor? <laughs> All right. So one of the main things on this meeting, the reason we had it early was because Senator Stiles is leaving us, and we're all very sad about it. Uh, but I'm excited because she's going to have plenty of time to spend with her family. Um, and we wanted to thank you for all you've done for the Village District, not only as Senator, but as Rep, as a friend of the Village District. And uh, we just wanted to officially thank you. And we, we have a, a we have a orchid here so you can look at it and think of us all the time. And the card is where? It's in there. Oh, and the card is inside. So we want to thank you very much for all you've done. And I don't know if there's anything you want to say, or we'll see say what you're... Say something yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'd like, to, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for what you do every single day to make this beach as beautiful as it is. I may not be seeking the election. Yeah. I'm not retiring. <laughs> I will still be here for the sandcastles and the, the seafood festival and all the stuff that goes on at the beach. And if there's something you need me for, I don't live all that right. far. Excellent. Okay. Not, just before we knew you were busy, so we didn't ask you to volunteer as much. But now that we know you have some time, all right. So well, this d is double my, those shifts this at, is the, my fifth the, at the at the sand couple. All right. Oh, I'm to go, so. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. So Thanks much. again. Thank you very much. Thank you. We all appreciate it. We'll see you no. I, I would make some, just one comment. Okay. I want to thank your husband for sharing yes, so much sharing of you, you with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, he may not be so happy when I'm all about <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So that was it on old business. New business. You want to stop, Bob? Any new business? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Our meeting in November, which is on the 9th here at the usual time, 5.30, the second Wednesday of the month, the town planner and Representative Rockingham Planning Commission will be in attendance to present where we are at with the process of getting into the community rating system. <coughs> at this time, I would extend an open invitation to anyone interested in this issue or the issues concerning sea level rise to, to attend. You do not have to be a member of the precinct. You don't have to be a resident of the precinct. Just come if you're interested. Uh, I did attend the me uh, an open meeting they had at the police station in late September, and we're not quite in the community rating system yet, but we're close. Hopefully, if all goes well, by May, we should be in it and they infer we may even be able to get in at a, a level eight entry level rather than nine, uh, which would be great. And that would be a 10% reduction in premium on flood insurance. Yeah. They, uh, and we should do a shout out to these people. They've done a ton of work. Getting this rating from the federal government is not a simple task. It requires an infinite amount of documentation as we all know and they appear to be right on top of it so 
come and enjoy what they might have possibly to share with us. The other thing to note is it's not just people in the village district that have flood insurance. It's people along the different rivers in town, people along the, the marshes that aren't in the village district. This affects everyone. So if the town gets this rating, it, it's the whole town. It's not just the village district. So it, it, if you want to come to this meeting, we're more than welcome. All right. Any other business? I'd like to take a moment and express my personal appreciation of everything that Senator Stiles has done for this community. I know the town has had conflict with the state over the meals tax and the rooms tax, but Senator Stiles has kind of been the quarterback at getting an awful lot of what has occurred possibly at the beach to happen from the state. Uh, she's just uncompromising in her efforts. She worked like today. She's leaving office and she's got five meetings today, which kind of is a symbol of how she commits to things. She's very nonpartisan. She's very, very pro of the community. It's going to be very difficult to replace her. And if Ocean Boulevard ever gets resurfaced, it probably should be named after her. Hopefully that might happen. Thank you. New business? New business? Yeah. Well, are you going to talk about that? Well, I was, but Go ahead. you can. But well, I want to talk, I'll tell you what I want to talk about. The coloring book, we talking well, about Well, the that? coloring book, um, we are going to um, have a reprinting, and we're going to uh, exchange one page for another. We're going to put, uh, as requested by Uda last, week, last meeting, the um, pirate picture. We're going to call Denise Brown and have her do that. And we're going to um, possibly look into um, having people, um, uh, businesses, donate a certain amount of money towards this reprinting, sponsoring the reprinting sort of thing. I think, like we talked about before, if a restaurant pays a certain amount, they get so many books where they can, you know, I, I know when my kids were little, any restaurant that I walked in that handed me a coloring book and crayons kept my kids busy. Yeah. Or a page. So a lot of the restaurants, I think, would be interested in doing that. Never mind some of the stores. So it'd be it'd be great to see some. Yeah, people. I would. Uh, yeah, and we some of them already do contribute. Right. In other ways, so they would automatically do it. But we could get some new sponsorship oh. on the beach itself. I'd like so to keep it on the beach. I think that was was that your idea, John? And I think he's right. Keeping the sponsorship on the beach. Yes. Rather than you know on the outlying areas. So okay. The Christmas parade is coming forward, and last year we had the Continentals on the cot singing Christmas songs and beach songs, which was pretty cool. People loved it. Um, they didn't like my driving. Um, <laughs> I, I was fine. So uh, Glenn, has off, Glenn has offered to drive this year. <laughs> I scared him on the road a little bit. I was fine on the Route 1. It was going down Mill Road. I I didn't go over the speed limit, but I, the speed limit, I guess, is a little too high with uh, that many people in the back of the... Uh, right. on advice of well, they counsel, stayed on, right? They stayed on. That's on, good. On advice of counsel, you shouldn't say any more. All yeah, right. Um, so, um... Do you have a date? When's the parade? December 3rd. December 3rd. Saturday, so December 3rd. We'll do a little decorating and get it nice... Uh, yeah. And, it, and is the... Uh, theme this year celebrate Hampton or is that just what they wrote on the top? Is that the actual thing do you think? I, I sent you the email. I I, it says celebrate Hampton right here. As but, far as I know that's the theme. Okay well that's easy. And that's why the language is celebrate and I you, you can and I lost a few of the decorations on Mill Road. I guess I was going. So if anybody has the wreaths that went flying <laughs> off the or, 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 up or the sand. <laughs> All right, so we, we we will get some more signage. and um, On that Christmas parade, the float, we saved, I saved all of the, good. All of the decorations Excellent. that didn't fly off. They were in the shed. Beautiful. <laughs> and I saved the... What shed? The shed here? The shed Beautiful. Outside, yeah. I also saved the banners that we had wrapped around the outside that said what do Merry they Christmas say? or something. Yeah. Something yeah. different. Happy holidays. Happy yeah. holidays. But the no, big... said Merry Christmas. <laughs> Remember no, there was big, a. It, it had, had to do with the uh, with the theme. Okay, no, don't start that. 
No, the big thing. This is a Christmas parade. It was like a. It was like a. It was like a sale, and it and it ended up well. When Chuck went by my house about sixty miles an hour, it had actually snapped the two by fours, and <laughs> and the and the banner was dragging on the ground. We weren't able to save it, <laughs> but we do have the ones that wrap around the outside. So we're gonna have to change something. We'll have to get a couple more decorations. Yeah. Wordsmith that little document. Right. Anyone. Okay. Sounds good. And we have the cot. And, and we have a truck. That's, and we have a truck. And we have a driver. A person, a person has donated his truck. Yes. We'll yeah. probably take it to me. That'll be you. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. The truck, My truck. Our chairman has a new truck. Right. Oh. oh. So we have a truck. Oh. Now there's no okay. excuse, right? So now we have, and, and Glenn <laughs> said he will drive, drive, drive the chairman's oh, truck, truck, correct? Huh? Yes. That's you, will fine. you will drive. Don't, do you have other responsibilities though? Last year you had other. No, I'll have to figure that out. But All right, good. If we do it right, if we do it properly, I will discharge my responsibilities right. and still be able to drive. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and I think that was it on new business. I'm trying to think if there was anything else, and I think that was it. So, def like I said last month, there was going to be a quick meeting. So, do we want to approve the minutes? Of September 14th, 2016. <coughs> by the way, I just forgot something. The annual report's going to come up. We have to do that by just the beginning of December. Okay. But I think I'll wait. Um, Bob, I'd like you to give me some, like you did last year, the, the people who are coming. We'll wait till November. Okay, Because they're sure. coming, and that will be a yeah. part of it. All right. Oh, I know. There was one other thing, because he was supposed to be on the uh, agenda, but because of Nancy Style celebration, um, Chairman Nyan from the Hampton, Mayor area, Hampton Beach Area Commission was supposed to come talk to us about the um, transportation grant, and he will get in touch with us between now and the next meeting. Will he probably come in November, do you think? I don't know if he's going to come in November or meet up with us, so we have to find out. Just go over what's going on, whether through email or because there's a lot. He didn't want to take up the whole meeting, so we thank him for that. All right, so can I have a motion to approve the minutes from September 14, 2016, as presented? I'll so move. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Excellent. Do we need to uh, make a motion on the Christmas parade, or can that just go forward? I think it's already in the budget. In the budget. Okay. Uh, in the budget. Yeah, we don't have to. I'm just an announcing it. All right, now the fun part, public comment. Anybody like to speak? Yes, sir. Just for your information, uh, I think you all know that the Coastal Risk and Hazards Commission has been functioning for the last three years. And the uh, purpose of it was to, uh, to propose, to come up with uh, possible new legislation or recommended <coughs> rules or regulations or procedures to guard against storm surge, sea level rise, and coastal flooding. Uh, we've been working at it for three years, and it's been a monthly meeting the whole time. Uh, there are 34 members on the commission, uh, one from every one of the towns uh, that touches water that goes to the ocean, uh, one from virtually every state agency. There are four legislators on it. Uh, Senator Waters was the originator of it from Dover, and Senator Stiles, and myself, and originally, um, Chris Munns was on, and he was replaced by uh, uh, Rennie Cushing, and Dave Wood was on there, and uh, that took the other spot uh, there as well. So we've had a lot of uh, Hampton involvement in it. We originally broke down into three study groups so that we could concentrate on what was most important in our particular areas. I chaired the coastal group, and then there was another one that did the inland problems, which is flooding, not the high water, it's just water coming in the other direction. And then the third one was somebody to, how do we handle all of the state agencies, uh, the uh, departments, the legislature, and so on and so forth. And they met to determine what their priorities were. We put this all together. There was a, a um, spreadsheet that went from here to the moon and back. It was really huge. And this thing has been looked at in a lot of different areas. Uh, we had a, a basic uh, reference document that was put together by a scientific panel. Uh, from uh, UNH and other sources, uh, and um, we use that as a basis upon which to develop the recommendations. Uh, the biggest things about it uh, that, that I particularly happen to like was the fact that uh, there are no absolutes in there. Uh, 
all of it is uh, there's some, a couple of the principles that we had during the thing was to uh, make it a uh, no regrets policy. Anything that we recommended was no regrets. Whatever you do, you can't say, ah, oh, gee, I wish we'd have done it a different way. And because of that, the way we listed these potential problems was we put storm surge first because everybody sees storm surge every year. It comes over the seawall. Sea level rise is a much more gradual thing that will happen over time. So if you're preparing for the big surge that hits it on occasion in storm surge, then you are automatically building in a preparation for uh, whatever amount of, of sea level rise you might have. Coast, uh, coastal flooding, which comes downstream from uh, up above, is a different type of matter. So it's, it's listed in that uh, priority. Storm surge, sea level rise, and flooding. Uh, so we, we have the, the no regrets policy and um, uh, procedure on the thing, and everything is done incrementally so that you're not spending, you're not requiring towns to spend a lot of money for a protective measure when you don't, that protective measure might not be here for 10 to 50 years or, or whatever. So uh, in that regard, these are guidance. Uh, the major uh, guidance uh, items are pretty, pretty broad. Uh, they go into detail and it covers all kinds of stuff. It covers the, the environment, it covers the economy, it covers infrastructure, uh, it covers historical resources, it covers uh, all, every aspect. So that had all been put together. We just had our final meeting um, last week to go over the, um, last Friday as a matter of fact, last Friday morning, to go over the details of the last, everything but of the occasional typo that might pop up. So we've got the final wording on every single bit of it, and it will be presented at a press conference uh, up in, the, in Concord at the Legislative Office Building on November 30th. So if anybody would uh, be interested in going up there to attend that, we're going to have most of the representatives there. Uh, there's always going to be the, a website that's going to stay on, uh, and I think uh, you probably already have that. I know you, you probably have that. So, yeah. And uh, so I just want to let you know that, that that thing has been a very, very um, productive three years. Uh, I, I don't think uh, that it goes too far in any of its recommendations. Uh, there may be a couple of people who think it doesn't go far enough, but I have to consider, I consider it from the perspective of the economy as well as just the environment. You, there's got to be a balance in there. So uh, the product will be out, and we hope that it will provide guidance for many years to come. And it's, and it's an adaptable document, too. Thank you. We thank you for your efforts in that regard. A long three years, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Any other public comments? John. <clears throat> Apologize if this has already been mentioned. I just come in, but I'd like to uh, take my hat off to our first responders. Um, I know it's going to be in my closing comments, but you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was up there early, <clears throat> and the fire department is set up really quick. Hit the fire very fast. Uh, so. Hats off to all our fire department. They did a great job in, in saving, uh, you know, the, the icon uh, of Hampton Beach. Um, <clears throat> also, my hats off to the uh, local police department. Obviously, they, they do have a plan, and it was very effective. The, the police shut down all the roads, um, you know, making way for the firefighters to come in from as far as Newington and and um, you know Salisbury and and all the surrounding. Um, Towns, Durham, New Hampshire. So, Chief um, Ayat, great job. Chief Sawyer, super job. And we, you know, we we missed the big one today. Yeah, we got lucky. We're very fortunate in this town that we have such well-trained public service and and um, fire, police, and the, the Hampton Public Service. Uh, they're amazing. Did a great job. So, all right, is that it on public comment? Closing comments. Maureen? No. We'll miss you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I would just say, watching the response, particularly by the fire department, to the event today at the casino is a true testament to mutual aid. It's one community helping another community in its time of need when it can. 
that should be kind of the goal we set for all our interrelationships and interactions, mutual aid. And the government does it awfully well in that regard. Excellent. All right. Well, we all know we have a big event coming up in November. And I, we'll all be happy when it's over. But I really stress for the people that service this town locally and in the state, I don't really care so much nationally. Personally, I do. But um, that we need to study what the candidates are going to do for you, study what they're going to do for the town, the beach, the state, and make your plan and please go out and vote. Candidates debate on channel 22 tomorrow night starting at 6.30. All right, did everybody get that? Candidates debate tomorrow night, channel 22 at 6.30. 6 hmm. Excellent. Or what office is Fred? Representatives? Or? Executive Council is yeah. two. Um, uh, state or uh, state senate is two, and um, uh, state rep is ten. We have four rep seats for Hampton and one flotario that covers Hampton, Hampton Falls, and Seabrook. It's part of the breakup that they have to do to proportion properly. And it's being broadcast from where? From our town hall? To, no, to, uh, from town hall. Yeah, from our town hall. Channel twenty-two. the public, if people oh, want. Yeah, if you want to go, yeah, yeah, you can go, or you can watch on watch on TV. Uh, it will be uh, so moderated by uh, the town moderator, uh, Bob Kazaza. He does that. And there will be two questioners. One will be um, um, uh, Cron uh, Pat Cronin from the uh, uh, Hampton Union, and the other one will be a Stu from Winter Chronicle. Nice. I don't know if he can vote yet, but he's going to ask yeah. questions. Anyway. That's great. That's excellent. Very That's good. really good. Fred, am I correct? Are you are you running again? I'm not running again. Well, perhaps well, we we'd like to we can thank him as well. We'll have to thank Fred for all the work he's done. But I don't think Fred's retired. I don't think he's completely he's retired. He'll still be he'll, he'll be on some ballot sometime soon. Right, Joan? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me ask. Is that right, Joan? Joan, Joan put that in writing. Joan, put it down. Yeah, we'll see. I never we'll believe see. him. <laughs> so. I mean, Solicitations for the budget <laughs> committee are open now. Uh, I'll, I'll say that again. Solicitations for the open seat in the budget <laughs> committee are being taken. That's that's exciting. I was on that once before and squared the damn thing away. Oh, <laughs> oh, you can make a comeback. <laughs> so um, I really encourage people to do their homework and to make sure they get out and vote. And on that note we won't discuss who's who wants who on that note i <laughs> end the meeting at five o'clock thank you